Good morning, it's already been a day. I already did double workout because since it's cold outside, I prefer to do like, I'll do something cardio based and then something like moderately strength based like Pilates because I'm like not walking. Like I don't wanna be out there walking when it's 30, 25 to 30 degrees and windy. So I just prefer to like really, like my physical fitness is like top priority for me. I just feel so good. I see it as the number one investment in everything I do is making sure that me physically and mentally is like on point. So I did a soul cycle class, but it was with like James J, who's like the fucking funniest person ever, but also not the most challenging in his class. So I can do that and like not be fatigued at all. I don't think I took my jacket off the whole time, um, but they're the fucking best. Like I highly recommend if you're like new to soul cycle. Um, they can be challenging as well if you turn up resistance, but like pace wise, it's not the most challenging. Um, and then I went to solid core and it was a like teacher and training class. So it also wasn't that challenging. So I still feel like, Okay, whatever, maybe I just will go on a walk or something. I'm very, very, like, I love being active. And someone's gonna be in my comments like, oh my god, she like over exercise it. Shut the fuck up. Um, no, I usually don't even hit 10K subs a day, unfortunately, anymore because I'm not an NYU student running around like it used to be. Anyway, this morning, I just like got back and now I'm waiting on someone who works for me because we're launching on Lens. Uh, Asterace is bringing astrology social apps and we're working with Lens, which is Aave's social arm first. If you don't know what Asterace is, I'm building astrology apps on blockchain so that we can pioneer bringing astrology into Web3. So like think of every astrology app, uh, dating, daily horoscope, astrocartography, trading vaults, all those will be uh, on chain. We're probably gonna have iOS versions too so that you can still use like in-app purchases, but mainly we're going into like web three because that is the future. So it's been my like life over the past year, just insane. And it's a little weird to be talking about it on YouTube because it's a kind of thing where um, just, it was, it's, it, it, I don't wanna say it's complicated, but like the work I've been doing is complicated regarding like the rays and um, developers and just so much that it's like, it's not hot to talk about on YouTube. It's not like interesting for me to be like, oh yeah, my CTO is like reviewing the code on the front end and we found bugs and so it's delayed and like whatever. Anyway, I did that and then I was researching, I was tr like my, I guess, how do I say this without giving away when I'm manifesting? I don't know how to say it, but I'm trying to learn how to do something properly that I've been trying to do for the past decade. I grew up doing musical theater and singing. I have the voice of a fucking four year old Disney princess. If you want to hear me sing, maybe I'll do I'm not insecure about it. I used to be growing up. I was like, oh my God, why can't I be like this low belter? Literally, I sang like opera. Like when I was, that's what they put me into. Cause I was like a coloratura. So like, oh my God, my voice is so fucking high. I mean, you can kind of tell maybe it's high. I like the nasality. I like bright sounding voices. Like I think Vic Fuentes, Kellen Quinn, like Anthony Green, those are my favorite vocalists. I love them. And there's no women. Like I need, basically I need to learn how to vocally distort and scream or vocal fry well, basically. Um, so because of that, I have struggled with that over the past 10 years. I literally, since I was like 15, 14, I remember specifically trying to be like Lane Staley from Alice in Chains, which like, if you didn't know, I am a really big Alice in Chains fan. I had to admit to myself that I do prefer Alice in Chains to Nirvana. That was a difficult point in my life, but I'm trying to learn how to scream properly, especially because I'm, I'm such a high female voice. Um, I've never heard it done. I've literally never heard it done. I don't like many metalcore bands that are woman, women fronted, not at all because of their talent, but simply because of the sound, honestly. Um, and there, there's just like, I like Paramore, I like Hayley Williams, but they're not metal enough for me um, to listen to often. Like they're, they lean more into like alternative rock. So it's a little bit lighter, I'd say than what I'm used to. Um, so I'm trying to learn that and I've just been like trying to like honestly the most comparable voice right now that I'm trying to learn from is Kellen Quinn's because like the way he sings on uh, if you're James what's the fucking I can't like uh, this is a song where I just call it, like James Dean the James Dean song um, that song is like effortless for me to sing like mixed but I just sound like a fucking Disney princess so I need to add some distortion so I've been working on that but basically I need to post these things so I had two workouts I'm about to have three readings in a row have one 30 minute call right after about my retreat. If you haven't heard, I have a retreat. Um, oh, my first vlog was just went public. I need to post about that. I have a retreat coming up in June in Costa Rica. So if you wanna join that, but I have a call just running through some details. Um, and then I have like two hours before I probably will go to bed tonight. <laughs> um, so that's my day. Um, but yeah, I'll take you through. I'll talk about something. We'll do something interesting. Hey. Hi. Okay, I have the tweet and uh, I'm up, or sorry, the lens post 
and I have the thing ready, I can share my screen if you want me to like show you what's happening. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, it has been disabled, so I'm gonna need that enabled. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. Okay, shit, I literally just X out. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're good, it saved it. Oh, uh, I mean, it's good. Do you like that? Um, I, I like edit it. all of it a little bit, just for grammar, um, like very slightly. Astrace is building a suite of on-chain astrological apps, featuring, astro featuring social profiles, on-chain daily horoscopes, and an AstroCard RP travel travel uh, interface. Let's do that so we don't use apps again. Um, yeah. I'm so nervous. I'm like not. I've been literally screen. I've been, I bet everyone in this building is fucking scared because I'm trying to learn how to properly scream, which is really hard if you have a high voice. I'm trying to like learn properly like emo scream and I, it sounds like someone's fucking killed in here. So I'm just like then <laughs> doing that in the shower. Post. There we go. Okay, now the notification's coming up. I signed it. Okay, so now the next things we need to do is get you to, one, reshare that, two, post on your, your, well, I'll post it on the Ashtray's Twitter first, and then you can, yeah. like, reshare Yeah, cool. On OpenSea, literally just bid, like, one Matic, and I'll just give it to you. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Two out of three readings are down. My call about my retreat is done. And there's a beautiful sunset happening. So this is like my favorite time of day. I'm literally every day so thankful for this. It has improved my mental health so much just to have a moment of like beauty. So yeah, one more reading, then I'm gonna explain how I'm so productive. That's what this video is gonna be about. Cause today was a definitely a very productive day. Readings are over and now just have to do like content posting and busy work, which is fine. I like some of my busy work for what it requires me to do. Um, and I need to put away these groceries, which I just got delivered, which is a good example of like the first thing I'll talk about with productivity is that if it's a task that is a net negative on your life because it's tedious and it's not your passion, Obviously, this is not something that can apply to everyone. Like, I get it. I was a student. I was not making much money at one point. I had to do fucking everything myself. But I will pay for grocery delivery because it means that I don't have to go out, carry these things, take mental energy dealing with what I need to buy. Like, I can just order it, whatever, done. So, minimizing the amount of real estate that your mental activity has to take up or just minimizing the amount of energy that you have to spend on monotonous tasks, I find extremely important. Um, let me just go through what I'm getting as I get it. So I got these Lakanto sugar-free chocolate chips. I love these. Uh, they're just, they just focus. The lighting in here is shitty. I know. I just don't have an alternative. I don't know why this isn't focusing, but these are Lakanto chocolate chips. These are really good. They're sugar-free. I love Lakanto everything. I think it tastes great. I have some, uh, Brazil nuts here because one a day for selenium. I still do that because just never won't do that. I have two small bananas here that are not ripe enough yet to consume because I like my bananas like slightly spotty, which are slightly green. I have two onions here because I just cook with onions, so I have two onions here. Um, I'll put these over here. But I think that that's the first thing I want to mention. There are three main things. Uh, the first one is that minimize your unnecessary tedious tasks. And obviously, if you're someone right now where you are working a job and your passion is your side hustle, not the job you have to do, we always have to negotiate with reality. So never get triggered. I, I mean, I can't say that. There are plenty of things that I'm going to say that are generalizations because I don't care to put footnotes in all of my comments that if they don't apply to you, they don't apply to you. So by me saying minimize the amount, this is okra. I love okra. Okra with like tomatoes and shit, like really crispy in the air fryer. And then you put it with tomatoes. Yes. I'm a big okra like maxi. Um, minimize the amount of bullshit. Just you don't want to spend mental energy on that. I have an assistant and I'm bad at delegating tasks, but I'm like trying to learn how to ask more from her. Um, not more in like a insane way, but just there's so many tasks that I should be outsourcing that I don't because I am bad at asking for things because then I feel like it just fucking abandonment story. Oh my god, if I ask for this, people will run away from me. 
Like, have I ever run away from someone because they've asked too much for me? No, I've just told them don't ask that ask that much for me. Um, I have one. I only got one of these apparently. I this this like lemonade thing. I don't I don't know what to. This focus is like horrible. I think because it's so backlit. But basically, it's some lemonade thing. Um, swoon lemonade, whatever. Um, ask, delegate, do things. They were out of normal Brussels sprouts, so I had to get shaved ones, which is okay. I just, like, don't usually use these because they're difficult to air fry with, but, like, whatever. I'll just air fry them to a pulp. I love burned Brussels sprouts. I think burned Brussels sprouts are just burned Brussels sprouts and cauliflower top tier. Um, then I have kale. I put kale in everything. I either have kale salads or, like, I cook kale down into, like, everything, so I have kale here. Um... Second thing is that you have to have your basic foundational survival needs down. This is an obvious one. This is one people will talk about all the time. Um, I have two. These are the final things. I have two cold brews here because I need to order my auto ship. And then I have baba ganoush, which is my favorite topping. I prefer baba ganoush to hummus, actually. I don't generally like eggplant when it's cooked because it's mushy. But if you can find crispy eggplant or like sometimes I'll make it. I don't usually feel like making it, but... Crispy eggplant is fire, however, mushy eggplant, no, but in baba ganoush, it works. Um, anyway, having your routine, which is sleep, diet, exercise, and underlying just foundations of your life down is vitally important. There's no way to get around that. There's absolutely no way to get around that. As a species, you're not going to get around it. Um, I do not use any type of like stimulant, per like I don't use Adderall, anything like that. Adderall scares me. Um, just because it's obviously it's just like a triple meth kind of it's 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 just a very strong amphetamine. I don't recommend it to anyone simply because like I just no. Um, so I don't recommend any secrets like that. I just recommend the fucking secret of sleep, eat, form your routine in a way that allows you to succeed. If you do not want to succeed enough, you're not going to do this. You have to want what the productivity will give you. I think a lot of people need to be honest with themselves that maybe they do not want that success. They would prefer the immediate dopamine of what they have on a daily basis. This is not bad. There's some things I'm just not willing to go out and do because I prefer not to do that. I do not care about running a half marathon or a full marathon because a lot of the reason I work out and do the things I do is so I'm like physically feeling great functionally and also look a way I prefer. I'm not going to work out either to only do like I cannot be motivated by a bullshit just like, oh, you did this. No, it has to be functional for me. It has to be something I like, love and enjoy. So a marathon for me is in no way attractive, in no way compelling, and I'm just not going to go out and do that. However, for someone who does really want to go after that, it's worth it for them. Similar to how me running my own business, now pursuing some like creative things outside of it, and doing content every day, waking up early every day to get my workouts and everything that out of the way, that is worth it for me. If it's not worth it for you, okay, okay. Like if, if being productive does not, it's not worth it to you, then you can't make it worth it to you. Um, but if you want it enough, you will go after it. If you cannot make yourself want it, you want what you want. You can underlie that, you can look inward and be like, why do I want this, why do I want that? That can help you then not want bullshit. But you can't, like, I want some things that other people think are, are silly. I like to post laundry and pictures on social media. I think that's beautiful and that's fun. I like things that are fun. I like going to get my nails done, whatever. Um, I am, like, moderately petty. Like, just that kind of thing. Um, if you do not want something enough, you're just not going to go after it. So if you do not want the life I have, then don't make yourself want it. If you want the life you have, keep that. Like, cool. So you do have to have, you have to be honest with yourself do not be productive for productivity's sake. I'm not stupid productive. I don't do unnecessary busy work that is just ridiculous to me. I stopped filming some kinds of content just because they weren't getting me what I wanted. Um, I stopped doing like uh, more bullshit joke videos because I just don't know. I don't film just like pure lip syncing videos because I'm not the 18 year old TikTok like, oh my God, she's so pretty and we don't know who she is. That no, people know who I am. They're not gonna respond to, they're not gonna comment, whatever, like no. Um, so I can't just be like pretty in a lip syncing way as much as I wish I could just be like you do nothing and be pretty because like deep down it's like oh yeah I wish I could just be one of those people who's just like stand in front of camera do that but like no not even deep down but there is that always like oh wow I kind of wish I was just like a beautiful young fool kind of thing like the Daisy Buchanan quote whatever um but no not me too I don't shut up um so you have to one get out 
unnecessary distractions that are tasks that are not going to support this Two, have a routine with your life that allows you to be creative. Creativity sprouts out of routine and structure. Um, and some of that routine and structure might be just um, like getting to get, go to bed or not too late. This starving artist, delirious drug addict, maybe you have some breakthroughs through that. But it's not sustainable, and it is not as promising as someone who does take care of themselves. Um, and thirdly, get some people around you that are in the same... Or thirdly, fourthly, whatever. Lastly, you will need either no one or people around you that are on the same page. I would say that it is better to have no one close with you in a work sense than to have people around you who distract or tell you not to be productive in the way you are. Um, the most relevant example I can have of this for me was in high school when I began to notice that my drive, which was not necessarily academic, um, I was very good at school, but I was not uh, an overachiever because I began to not give a shit, but I was very good at the classes I was like in. Um, I was like, th that kid who was like in all honors classes, but, like wasn't really trying or studying, whatever, I didn't really care. Um, I began to notice that other people were not as obsessively passionate around success and notoriety and like accomplishment as me. And that began to limit down my close friends. Um, and I was really okay with that. By the time I graduated, I had like three close friends and that was it, and that was okay. Um, I began just to not put effort into the relationships that were not putting effort into my life. And I think similarly, if you're an adult and you're in a lot of relationships that uh, friend-wise do not feel like they're supporting you, simply, I mean, it can seem stupid, but like social media is probably your best bet to interact with people that are on the same page as you and then naturally try to meet with them in person, try to engage with them. Um, you will not get anywhere by being scared to reach out. And I say this as someone who does not ever reach out to others first. Um, I am better at reaching out in like a uh, going for, in different ways of going forward. So I too am very, very bad at asking anyone for anything or whatever. For me, it's a little different um, in why I'm scared, whatever the trust, whatever. But you will not like we form these amazing opportunities by the human connections that are aligned with us and so if you can surround yourself with people that are in the same similar mindset or better that will accelerate you and i throughout my life i've had friends that are in a better mindset than me and then with the rate that my life is going at i become the teacher to them and it keeps up like that. I then get friends that are teachers, like, and then sometimes it's the reverse where someone else is like, oh, makes a bunch of money and I learn finance from them in that way. So it doesn't mean that you have to drop your friends or whatever. It just might mean that you evolve into a new group of people. Um, but you need to get people that support you or just don't be around people who don't and then naturally let other people fall in. But the bottom line, in my opinion, is that you're going to need to be really honest with yourself if you want it. Because being productive does not mean you have to be like me. I happen to love the insanity of knowing that I have no wasted time in my day. Literally, like there's not a second of my day that's like, oh, you just scroll. I have a thing. If I feel that I'm about to open social media to scroll without literally hours going by where I want to catch up, if it's just like, oh, I'm bored, I have to sit down and write something creative. I have no excuse, no fucking excuse. I have to sit down and right now, that's like song lyrics. I've written songs th for myself throughout my entire life, written books, poems, whatever. But now it's like, I actually need to like write some material. Um, and I have to, and it's always like killer. Like I get something out and it's great. And I don't open, I don't open the godforsaken clock or bird or camera app. I don't open them. And that training of delaying gratification I think is inherent to like necessary, I don't want to say accountability, but necessary like productivity wise. Cause I will delay the shit out of the, all the gratification if it means at the end of the day I can have something great. So like now it is always, or sometimes even like, instead of opening Instagram, it means I have to go to TikTok and post something. Like you're bored, go, go find a video that you didn't add text to. Go find a video post. Go find a video that you recorded to an audio that you need to make into a joke. Um, I'm trying to not post nearly as much just bullshit because I can see it doesn't do well. It, what does well is me out in the street. I just need to get a friend to film with me more often because my friends are really busy like me, so it can be hard to find someone to regularly film with me. Maybe I just need a videographer. If you're a videographer in New York, maybe hit me up. I don't know if I, I'm, I'm stingy. I pay people very well, but I'm stingy with beginning to hire people. So I don't know if I need a full-time videographer or not, but like, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's my thing is be honest with yourself. Do you want it? Are you willing to do that and be productive? 
And also, if you don't love what you're doing, you're not going to be productive around it. If you love what you do, you'll be decently productive. We still get distracted and shit. But um, surround yourself with cool people, too. You deserve it. You fucking deserve it. Um, I'm just going to be working for the rest of the night. So I think I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope this helps. Take care.